Okay, today we're going to look at the particles not and debt. That's not and debt. Not, the not particle is um, a particle used for possession, like when you're using an apostrophe S, for example, like James's pen or the school's um, classroom. And debt is more used for location. So if this debt follows a, a place, um, then that's where you're talking about. Actually, we might also throw in to as well. This is a really good one um, here for, for listing nouns. So if you want to say something and something, uh, listing nouns, then you just put this in between all the ones that you're listing. So fairly simple. All right, let's look at no first. So as I've said, this is for possession. So when you're indicating something belongs to somebody else. So for example, before I mentioned James's pen. So for example, this apostrophe S here is the equivalent of this not particle. If I was to write that in Japanese, it would look like James and not pen. So you can see here, here's the sort of like an apostrophe S saying this pen belongs to James. Another example of that could be the school's property. You can see that apostrophe S there, meaning the property belongs to the school. And in Japanese it would look like gakko no mono, gakko no mono. So this uh, not is saying that this belongs to this. This is the word for school and this is the word for things or property. The next particle we're talking about is this one here, de. And this is an indication of location. So if you're talking about a certain place or something happening at a certain place, uh, you, would, you would say the place and then you would put this particle de after that place. For example, at school would be gakko de. So this de means at and wherever the place is before that. And finally, we can throw in uh, to. Oops. To. To is used for listing uh, nouns. So it's basically like saying and. Yeah, so there it is, listing nouns. Um, nouns are just things, objects. Um, and if you want to if you want to say more than one thing in a sentence, then um, put this, this particle top in between each thing that you list. For example, cars and trains and buses. Um, that should be a D in there as well, but cars and trains and buses. In Japanese, it's, it's just that simple as well. So if you're listing all these different modes of transport, you would say it like this in Japanese. Kuruma to densha to bus. You don't need a tot at the end. Just like in English, you don't need an end after the last thing that you list. So, yeah, fairly simple. I don't think I need to say much more than that. Um, if you want to list things, just put a tot in between. It's kind of like a comma or kind of like the word and.